All right, guys, this is the quick and easy version of how to find out and calculate the proper axle ratio for your truck after you lift it and put bigger tires on. Uh, this applies to any vehicle. It doesn't just have to be a 03 excursion. Um, it'll apply to anything you want to, you want to check out. So car-parts.com, that's the junkyard website, and you can type in your year, make, model, and your rear differential, and it will tell you all the different options of gear ratio that it came with from the factory. Um, why do they offer these ones? Because this way they can advertise better miles per gallon. This one they can advertise better towing power. Uh, which one works for you is going to depend on your particular situation and what you want. Now, in order to find out what your vehicle came with from the factory, there will be a information card usually on the inside of your driver's door jam or inside your uh, glove box. And it'll have an axle code and then you can look up the axle code from there. So this 2003 excursion came from the factory with 430s and the factory tire size was 265, 75, 16. Now, if you Google a tire size calculator, it will convert metric into standard for you so you can know exactly what the diameter is, which this comes out to 31.6 inch tire. Now, all you have to do is take your new tire size. Uh, I'm running 40s, so 40, and then you divide that by 31.6, and you end up with 1.26 as your correction factor. And so that 1.26 is key right there. That is all you need in order to find out what you need for your axle ratio. So from the factory, mine came with a 430. And so I take the 430 and I multiply by 1.26, and that gives me 5.41. And it just so happens that just about the biggest gear you can get in a 4, 10 and a half inch rear is 538. So 538 is going to bring me very close to that. It'll be based off my 430 original. And as long as you keep with your original axle ratio, um, your speedometer will be correct as well. So you won't have to worry about calibrating your speedometer. So 430 times 1.26 is 5.41. If I go to this, then it will drive like it did before the tires and the lift, and the speedometer will even be correct. So if you wanted to change and you wanted better gas mods, if that was your priority, then you would just take 373 and multiply it by 1.26, and then pick a corresponding gear size for that. Uh, of course, you would still need speedometer calibration for that. So, all right, if this was helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you.